Yo, yo, yo! What is up, my homies and homeettes? As always, I am your host, Admiral Slothbar. Hope you're doing well. Happy Saturday to you all. Second video of the day. Uh, earlier today, we covered the Frost Mage, as it's the only spec viable to the Zandalari Trolls at the moment. And right now, we're going into one of my other favorite specs. I keep saying that because I love everything, because I'm an alt whore. But another one of my favorite specs in the game is the Windwalker Monk. And uh, right off the get-go, they give you this Mortal Kombat Raiden-style hat. And, uh, you know, if that doesn't get you jived up and going and wanting to play a Windwalker Monk, I don't know what does. But hopefully, the videos that I'm doing for you, more than anything, make you want to play Zandalari Trolls. And hopefully, this video might turn you towards playing a Monk. But anyways, let's get straight into it, guys. As always, if you do like this video, please give it a like, give it a subscribe if you feel like you want to keep watching for further content. And if you have any comments for me, you want to tell me what you're most excited for, whether or not you like the content, um, you know, what spec you're going to be playing and maining for Zandalari when it comes out. Guys, by all means, fill that comment section. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much. So let's get straight into it, though. We'll, uh, we'll show off some attacks. So as you can see, that was my, torpe my, my Chi Torpedo uh, going off there. And straight into the first main attack, we're going to go with Tiger Palm. Now one thing I like about the Zandalari Troll right off the bat is because they're very human-esque in their character model, they fit a lot of the Kung Fu moves pretty well. Um, I, I feel like they look good. So again, this is just your standard uh, Tiger Palm. Uh, straight into a Blackout Kick. Looks pretty good. I like the animation. It looks very fluid with the Zandalari Troll. Now, there's a hidden technique to Rising Sun Kick that makes you do way more damage. And you have to jump when you Rising Sun Kick. Not only does it make you a certified badass, but I guarantee you, you'll do 10,000% more DPS. Alright guys, so Blackout Kick into Jumping Rising Sun Kick into Fists of Fury. So if you, know your, if you know your monk moves, you're going through the combos here. Now, one big thing to note for the next move on the chopping block, Whirling Dragon Punch. I don't know why it's not working. Oh, it's probably because I turned it off. So... First, I'll show you guys. Oh yeah, I should probably state that I just recorded this entire video and then it corrupted, so I'm doing it again. So I had already switched over my talents. So we're gonna do it a little backwards this time around. So you've seen, you've seen Tiger Palm, Blackout Kick, uh, Rising Sun Kick, Fist of Fury. Let's take a look at Fist of the White Tiger. Pretty cool, I like the spell animations that go with it. Uh, Chi Wave, pretty sweet, pretty sweet. One of my favorites, I like the animations. I'm a really big fan of the teal. You know, that this, that sharp color that goes along with monks, it's a nice contrast. I'm a big fan of it, especially with Crackling Jade Lightning. Like, look how cool that looks. That alone makes me the Thunder God. I'm basically Thor, but in monk form. So, little Chi Wave action, little Crackling Jade Lightning, give you guys an idea of what the animations look like. Um, leg Sweep if you're PvPing, or if you're PvPing. Um, yeah, Vivify, not too much. Not really a huge fan of the cast animations because you don't see a whole lot of action going on between the hands there. Um, let's jump into Rushing Jade Wind. So as you can see, standard animation from before. Nothing's changed in that aspect. No big deal. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay. Um, so Ring of Peace, pretty standard stuff. Spinning Crane Kick, pretty standard stuff. Nothing too crazy different there. Um, your flying serpent kick. Now something I noticed earlier when I did this video the first time around is This guy's facial animations during this. <laughs> that is fantastic. If there's nothing more ferocious than that, you know, so pretty cool looking I'm enjoying it, but that's your that is your um, Your flying serpent kick. Let's jump into serenity and we'll even throw up some uh, Oh, nope. Oh my god. This is gonna throw me off the entire video. I had mirror images there, too But of course I switched it before it corrupted. But anyways guys, this is your serenity pretty standard stuff Doesn't change the animations or anything just looks pretty damn sharp um, What else do we got here? We could show you guys some diffuse magic action. Let's take a peek here So this is just your magic resist shell that you can get uh, pretty cool looking just follows you around nothing too different there um, Pretty sweet though now, uh, detox, same kind of stuff. Hand in the air like you just don't care. I like it. Nothing too wrong with that. Uh, moving on, what do we have? What do we have? See, this is the problem. I had all of this chosen, and of course, it all reset on me. So, uh, there's nothing to really show you guys. Yeah, there's not a whole ton to really show you in terms of... In terms of spells on here. Swift Purple Raptor, I don't know why that's there. Tiger's Eye Brew won't work. Turn that war mode on, still won't work. I don't know. 
I don't know what's going on here, but uh, there we go. We can use the Tiger's Eye or Fortifying Bruce. You know, I'm all thrown off. So um, we're going to switch up a couple of talents real quick. Let's see. Let's throw in the Whirling Dragon Punch for you guys and invoke Schwen, the whitest of tigers. Uh, so there he is. Good, good, good. And we've got Whirling Dragon Punch. Perfect. Anything else? There's not really that much else to show you guys. Um, all right. So, so you guys know, Whirling Dragon Punch requires you to have your Rising Sun Kick and your Fist of Fury on cooldown. So we get our Fist of Fury out. We do a sweet Rising Sun Kick. And for some reason, it... Okay. Am I, am I losing it, guys? Am I losing it? I'm pretty sure I just switched that, and it still won't switch. This just worked for me like five minutes ago. I'm going to turn that back off. Why aren't you working? Okay, let's try now. Let's try now. All right. Let's get that Rising Sun kick back off cooldown. Here we go. Fist of Fury. Jump in the air. Whirling Dragon Punch. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Let's get those Storm, Earth, Wind, and Fires out. Look at him go. Look at us working in cadence with each other. Pretty cool, pretty cool, right? I know, I love it too. I'm with you. So we're gonna do it one more time. Big Rising Sun Kick, Big Fist of Fury, Whirling Dragon Punch. Pretty awesome, I like it. Um, guys, that basically rounds off, oh, sorry. Schwen the Whitest of Tigers. Probably should have had him out there for you too. Sorry about that, everybody. All right, we're gonna do one more roundup here. One more roundup, let's go. We're gonna do big stuff here. Oh. It's still on cooldown. We're not doing anything. I suck. I'm the worst. Here it goes. Big Fist of Fury. Fist of Fury. See, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. You guys have me all bashful. So that's basically it for all of the animations. <clears throat> that is, you know, the most of what actually changes around your character. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the Zandalari Troll animations for Windwalker Monk. Let's take a quick peek at the sets as we do in every video. Um, you know, I got to be honest up front. Uh, I was even saying it in... The first time I recorded this video, I'm not a huge fan of all the monk sets. I don't really think there's too many that really catch my eye because a lot of the, you know, extra ra uh, extra races, a lot of the extra classes that have come out over the last few years don't really get the same love and attention once they got rid of tier specs, sets and, you know, things of that nature, PVP sets for individual classes. Uh, they kind of, you know, the love really just started to fade on how much effort and detail they put into giving each class its own unique appearance. But uh, going on with the Battle Season 2 uh, for this upcoming, the season that just started, it's pretty cool. It's more rogue-esque than anything. You really couldn't tell I'm a monk if you were looking at this. God damn the Lua errors. Uh, you really couldn't tell that this was a monk. You'd really think it's a sub-rogue. But it looks pretty cool. Uh, going through, I mean, again... Although I think this Master Shredder set is pretty sweet. If you want to make a Master Shredder style monk, looks cool. I, I would rock it, but it's it's not the most monk-like. Um, let's zip on down here. See, I, I can't stand the bobble wearing things on your shoulders. Um, yeah, I'm going to sound like a hater. I'm a little jaded, I'm not going to lie. This looks more like a shaman set, but I'll take it. Uh, I believe, what is this, just a blanket leather set? Yeah, most likely, or whatever. Um, continuing on. Yeah, this is a pretty good set. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Not too bad. I really enjoy like the hang danglers, whatever you want to call these things. Oh, I can't even these guys. You know, the tassels. Uh, looks pretty cool. Everything about it looks pretty good. I mean, if you just want to play with your tassels, you can do that. That's a unique piece of this entire set. Um, what else do we got? What else do we got? Yeah, meh, meh, meh. Uh, this one's pretty good. I like this color coordination on this guy. And I like just the, the masked face. I don't know about this. This thing's... I don't even know what that is. But yeah, it's cool. It's there. It's happening. Um, what else? We got a couple more to show you. See, a lot of these sets just look like plate and mail. It's super weird. I don't know. Guys, Blizzard, please, if you're listening, put some more effort into your individual class tier sets again and your, and your individualized sets. I miss it. It was my favorite part of the game. This one's pretty good, too. Uh, but yes, please bring that back. I really do miss the individual sets coming out for the classes. I know it's work, but I mean, hey, you got to do some work if you're going to earn those subs. Um, but all right, guys, I think that's just about it for today. I'm going to shut up and stop rambling right here. If you did enjoy the video, please, as always, give it a like. Consider subscribing. And if there is something you want to let me know in the comments below, what your favorite upcoming spec is, if you've been enjoying these videos, if there's something you want to see me do different, 
if you want to share with me exactly what your main is going to be i love to hear from you i do respond to pretty much well i i don't really get a whole ton of comments yet because we're a new channel but the ones i do i will respond to you guys so thank you so much again for stopping by and watching hope you enjoyed the content have a fantastic weekend and we will see you again soon